Hello everybody! So today I'm going to be doing a what I eat in a day, what I drink in a day. And let's go over here. It is 5.25 in the morning. I'm getting ready to drink some water. Oh hi peanut! I'm getting ready to drink some water and then I'm getting ready to go work out. Hello! What are you doing? He loves this fishy. So I take it from the dumpster. Yeah. Okay, so I wanted to turn the camera around on me a little bit. So it has been a while. It's been a hot minute since I have made a video, but I'm back in the game and I've really <clears throat> had a mind shift lately and I want to tell you a little bit about it. So before um, in my hiatus, I've had several hiatuses. I just have felt like I have made so many videos and I've said everything that I can say. I've talked about fruits and vegetables, I've got, talked about detoxification, and not only that, but I have my three books out. So I have Down to Earth Raw Vegan Recipes, which is such a beautiful recipe book. I have Get the Glow, and I also have my seven day vegan recipe guide, which does include some cooked um, food and that's another thing I want to talk about you know I have shifted in the last six months uh, it could be a little bit longer than that to uh, eating a lot of steamed veggies now I had a period of time where I went a little bit buck wild and I was eating rice and even a little bit of flour products um, and just really experimenting that way even like things like rice pasta and stuff and I have found that in no way, shape, or form did I thrive whenever I ate that. I gained a little bit of weight, I just felt puffy, and just not good. So I'm totally off of that, and the cooked food that I consume every day is steamed veggies. And I love them very much. I love butternut squash is probably my favorite, but I really love green beans and cauliflower. I love steaming. Um, cabbage and coleslaw and it's really good. I'm, I'm going to show you at lunch today and maybe at dinner depending on what I eat but um, I'm going to totally show you my favorite recipe ever and it's something I eat almost every single day. So I was a little hesitant to talk about that on my channel because I've had so many years of being 100% raw and just being so um, you know pointed towards that way and almost militant and I still am such a proponent of raw vegan lifestyle and I'm about I guess 80% raw, whatever, if we're gonna, I don't even know if I just wanna get down with a get down on the, the percentages and stuff like that. But I eat a ton of fruits and vegetables. I can show you right now, I have figs. Figs are my favorite fruit in the whole world. If you ever, or frankly, ripe figs are my favorite food in the whole world. But I have some figs here, organic black mission figs. I've got some peaches. And I've been loving Roma tomatoes lately and I love heirloom as well so I still love raw foods immensely and I always will but I'm just on a little bit of a different path with incorporating a little bit of cooked food and it has served me well because I was just getting to a point where I wanted to branch out and the warming foods I can get down with and we're going into winter and it's just a blessing so I want to just jump back on here and I want to keep doing videos and I want to keep touching you guys because believe it or not I still get comments on some of my videos and it blows my mind because I've never been a big YouTube channel and I've never you know I look at some of the other channels and I'm like oh my gosh I don't know if it's because I don't know why but I've just never been that big so it blows my mind when I still am getting comments and I'm still getting messages and people that have been touched by um, my videos and my books and my lifestyle and that is what I love and I want to keep um, touching as many people as I can because I look around in my daily life and I see people that are sick and that are on prescription medicine when they don't need to be in my opinion because so many of these maladies that people have are just lifestyle related and when you eat a ton of fruits and veggies and you drink 
beautiful, uh, I think, alkaline spring water and you exercise every single day. I'm getting ready to go to the gym and I love it so much. And plus a lot of other things on the wheel. I mean, detoxification is absolutely key. You can eat really, really healthy, but if you're not absorbing it, and if your lymphatic system isn't moving, and if your kidneys aren't filtering correctly, then you're just kind of staying stagnant when we want to really remove the toxins that we have built up in our mother's womb and in our childhoods and in our teenage years and adult years. Um, but anyway, I love fruits and vegetables and I love the vegan lifestyle so much to this day. I started when I was 21 and I'm almost 28. Can you believe it? So a lot of things have changed in my life over the years, but one thing is still true now that I have two cats. You know, I didn't grow up with animals, but I have two cats now and I love them so dearly. And you know, they're kind of equal to me in my eyes than a cow or a pig or a chicken. And I don't want to harm any animals. Um, I just want to eat the foods that serve me the best and that's plants. So I'm going to head here to the gym and I will show you throughout the day um, what I eat and I appreciate you guys watching and welcoming me back to YouTube. <laughs> okay, so I want to show you what I'm getting ready to make for breakfast. This is from the brand Daily Harvest and so it's... It's primarily like a smoothie company and they send you these frozen superfood filled smoothies, but they also have like, here I have a bunch of them as you can see. Um, they also have little, they're called harvest bowls and they're just full of really, really healthy things. And um, you can just cook them up on the, st the stove top and it just gives you such a cute little dinner or a quick lunch. And I'm someone that lives on the go quite frequently and so I just really find that this brand serves me. They have soups, um, they have little chia parfaits, and the, all the black lids are all of the smoothies. So we've got a peach one and a cherry and there's an acai berry. Um, I don't have any of the oatmeal bowls right now, but I'm getting ready to make this smoothie. If you ever try out this company, please try out the carrot and chia smoothie. It sounds kind of eh, not the best, but this is seriously the best smoothie. It tastes like pumpkin pie and it has that consistency and it is absolutely delectable. So this one has banana, carrots, dates, walnut, sweet potato, coconut, ginger, chia, cinnamon. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like, but it's so good. So all you do is pop the lid off. I snap back, back, spun a whole 180. Had to work up the nerve just to tell you, baby. You turn, you turn the heat on. You turn every little bit of me on. The little draw when you talk, little wiggle in your walk, the way you move in it. Yeah. got home for lunch and I actually just ate and I showed you a little clip of it but I had butternut squash that look like little rotini noodles they are my favorite they're so good and then I had a salad dressing which is the salad dressing that I eat like every single day and it is tomato tahini apple cider vinegar cayenne and just a bunch of spices like I really love Italian seasoning cayenne um, onion powder is really really good I either do an onion powder or lately I've been doing a little bit of garlic powder but I prefer the onion and yes I think that's it and then tomatoes obviously I said that I really love Roma tomatoes and then you blend it up and it's just good on everything it's good as a salad dressing and it's really really good to put on those steamed veggies so and then I had a little bit of just romaine Italian salad. Um, and that was my lunch. Oh, and I had an avocado. It was really, really good. So that's my lunch. I'm headed back to work and I will see you at dinner. All right, so this is going to be my dinner. So this, I just have like my pre-made salad dressings right here. So I just take one of these out and that's the dressing. And then tonight I'm gonna have this veggie rice, it's just cauliflower, and then there's some broccoli in it and carrots, and it's so 
like a green onion. And then really what I do is I put some of the dressing in it and then I will have some lettuce with it. And I have that right here, just some pre-made. This is just green butter leaf lettuce. It's my favorite. So that is going to be my yummy dinner. 